Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to check out some new Mattel figures, which is really awesome because we haven't had too much coming out from Mattel recently here in the United States. But luckily we do have these minifigures, which the minifigure line has been very slow. Over the last year or so, there hasn't been too much coming out. The first couple waves were jam-packed, beautiful, awesome, new figures, new paint schemes and everything all the time. But for a while there, they kind of faded off and only had like some repaints with like a metallic type of a paint over top, which you can see displayed here on the Spinosaurus, which is definitely one of the newer figures. And they seem to continuously do that now where they release a metallic figure, but a lot of the other figures figures were usually just the same re-releases with nothing really new to them. However, they just recently started to actually re-release some of the figures that were released before, but now with new paint schemes. So we have all of the newer versions, I believe, from this wave here, which if you're going to ask me which wave it is, I have no idea anymore because there were quite a few of them that were coming out that had that repeated kind of metallic figure. There was a metallic Dilophosaurus, a metallic Velociraptor, a metallic T-Rex. I think in Metallic Indominus, and now there's this Metallic Spinosaurus, and I actually just found out from my buddy Hatbox Ghost here on YouTube that there are now more figures that just came out with a Metallic Green Rex, which I had covered in a news video a few days ago. But we have these figures here to look at today, so let's go ahead and get a closer look at these four right now. So as far as the sculpts go, we have actually reviewed the sculpts of all of the minifigures, I believe, that have been released so far. There hasn't really been any new species or anything coming out for quite some time. This specific figure, the Postasuchus, was released previously, but with a different paint scheme. This now has a paint scheme similar to what but the newer Savage Strike post Asukas figure has, and you can see that it's primarily a really nice bluish color with a very cool black design that runs along the upper side of the animal and then tapers off right back here in the tail. I really actually do quite like the paint scheme of this. It's not something that personally I would have picked for a post Asukas because it's not something I would have expected to work so well on the figure but actually having it in hand it does actually look really nice and Mattel as usual has done a good job on the overall painting of the figure there isn't really too much going on as far as colors on it but you've got a light underbelly you also of course have the really nice bluish coloration and then that black kind of squiggly design all over the top it of course does have the articulated jaw but there is no paint included inside the mouth you can see the eyes are painted and they're actually placed quite nicely so the paint does look decent, no painted teeth or anything, no painted nails as per usual, but I still think it looks pretty darn cool. Then we have the Parasaurolophus, which now sports a really nice brown up along the back of the figure and then a lighter brown that runs along the side. And then that changes to like this light kind of a linen type color almost for the lower part of the body. And I think this as well is a really beautiful paint scheme for this animal. Once you come up here into the head, you've got a very cool looking green that runs along the head up onto the beak and up onto the crest of the Parasaurolophus. And I think the colors all look really good, play off of each other really well. And honestly, I actually like this version, once again, much better than the initial version of the Parasaurolophus released from the Mattel minifigure line. I think that they did a very, very good job on this coloration as well. As per usual, you have the articulation here in the neck of the Parasaurolophus as the previous one did the sculpt, I don't believe is any different, but the paint scheme clearly is, and it's actually really quite nice. And then we have the Brachiosaurus, and I really, really love the color scheme of this Brachiosaurus. I feel like the Brachiosaurus here that you see with this purplish coloration is almost always the type of a color that you see associated with the Brachiosaurus from Jurassic Park, especially when you see the Brachiosaurus in the tree at the moment where Alan, Tim, and Lex are up in the tree, and the Brachiosaurus is coming in to feed, I felt like that Brachiosaurus always kind of had like a purplish tint to it. So to see that kind of displayed here in the Mattel minifigure is really, really cool. And for the most part, I think the paint application looks really nice. It's really nice and naturally applied. But one area I'm not happy with is right here in the neck, because once I pull the neck forward, the paint kind of disappears completely in that section. So it's definitely a bit of a downside. I don't know if they're all like this or if it's only mine. If I push the neck up all the way, so he kind of looks like he's really reaching up high, 
or some vegetation from a tree. He looks decent, but even still you can see the paint kind of disappearing over here on this side. If that paint were completely connected the whole way through, I really would give this a much better rating. I really would like it a lot more, but even still I think it definitely looks really nice and I love the fact that they've used like this purplish type of a coloration to paint this Brachiosaurus because like I stated it kind of reminds me of that Brachiosaurus from the moment in Jurassic Park with Alan, Tim, and Lex in the tree. So really cool choice on the part of Mattel, another very nice figure. And then as far as the metallic figure for this wave goes, you had the metallic Spinosaurus, which I really do like the metallic figures, even though I wouldn't expect the dinosaur to ever actually look metallic, and I don't take this as a sign from Mattel that they believe dinosaurs might have had a metallic look, it's just that very cool limited edition style figure that is included with these new waves, and honestly I actually really quite like the metallic look. I don't have all of the metallic figures quite yet, but I'm trying to get them as we go, and I think each one has actually looked really quite nice. Same goes with the Spinosaurus. I'm not a huge fan of the sculpt of the Mattel minifigure Spinosaurus, just because I feel like it's a little awkward looking, especially with how large the head is, but Somehow the metallic paint on this actually makes it look much better than the initial figure did as far as I'm concerned. So once again, a really cool figure. You do have painted eyes just like all of the others and articulated jaw, which the lower jaw specifically is just really, really huge and should not be. But again, a decent figure as far as the sculpt goes, but I really do quite like the paint on this new Spinosaurus as well. So if you happen to have any of the minifigures prior to these, any of the older lines, the older waves of minifigures from Mattel, you'll already have a very good idea as far as what the size of the figures are, because these are no different as far as the sculpts go, it's no different at all as far as anything goes except for the new paint application. However, to give you a quick idea as far as a size goes, I'll hold the tape measure here in case you don't have any of these figures at all previously to give you a somewhat of a size of the figures and then for a size comparison there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus and Robert Muldoon next to these mini figures giving you a good idea that as far as baby Jurassic World dinosaurs go they really do make perfect babies I will say that but you can also see that there is quite a bit of beautiful sculpt and detail crammed into something so small because these minifigures have a very very small size to them so I think they're overall impressive in every way due to their very small stature. So I have been a huge fan of the Mattel minifigure line from the very beginning. Ever since the first wave of minifigures came out I was completely sold and I was loving each and every release as they were coming out, each and every wave when they were popping out new species for each wave and then it just kind of stopped dead and I don't understand what exactly happened when it comes to Mattel and why they did that as there were just no new releases for quite a while as far as the minifigures go then all of a sudden you started to see the metallic figures popping up and you saw new waves coming out continuously but they were mostly all just repeats of the previous figures with the exception of a metallic figure in each line well thankfully now Mattel has started as we can see here to release new paint variants within the line of minifigures just no new species so I am really happy to have any type of new activity going on outside of just the metallic figures with this Mattel mini line but I really would love some new species to be included in the very near future with these minifigures because I think the minifigure line is super super cool and with all the new species that Mattel is continuously pulling out of their hats for future releases I feel like there are plenty of potential contenders to include in this minifigure line now so they really do need to start getting back to work on this line as well with all the very cool releases like the Majungasaurus and Irritator and Scutosaurus. Imagine all those figures in mini form, even a Compsognathus, which they already have made. We've seen it released with the Destructosaurus line or the Microceratus. There is definitely a lot of potential out there as far as the future of the minifigure waves, and hopefully they'll start to incorporate new species and even some figures like the Microceratus and Compsognathus we've seen in the past into this minifigure line in the very near future. That being said, 
I really do quite like these new color variants. The Brachiosaurus is beautiful with the really nice purplish type of a look. You've got the really nice coloration on that Parasaurolophus. I definitely do quite like that a lot. You have that beautiful Postosuchus with the really cool bluish coloration matching up quite nicely to the Savage Strike version. And then of course the metallic Spinosaurus now, which Spinosaurus is a big time favorite for most Jurassic fans, so to see the metallic version now giving us two different Spinosaurus figures from the minifigure line is also quite exciting. So very cool figures. Once again, definitely worth picking up if you happen to head out to your local Target. Just give a search for these type of packages. You've got the black type of packaging now for these minifigures and you'll be able to spot these guys quite easily and start picking up some of these really cool, really nice newer minifigures from Mattel. But before you go doing that, make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.